e ci sia bisogno di una tempesta di neve, di un'enorme raffica di vento, o di una finta pioggia, lui è la persona giusta. Alcuni film o serie tv sono davvero girati in condizioni meteo estreme e soprattutto reali, ma questo comporta un grande problema. You can never count on the weather to work for you. Jeremy Chernick lavora per la JNM Special FX di Brooklyn. You can't schedule the entire crew around waiting for snow. Quindi a volte la si deve creare. La compagnia di Jeremy crea effetti speciali per video musicali, spettacoli dal vivo e altre produzioni. All the Disney Broadway shows, Aladdin, Frozen. Creò la pioggia per Shawn Mendes allo show di MTV del 2018. Ma JNM lo legge anche attrezzature a serie come Gotham ed Elementary. Jeremy è in grado di ricreare ogni condizione meteo. Ma il segreto del meteo finto è che deve apparire reale solo nell'inquadratura della telecamera. You don't need all the weather in the world to, to know it's raining in a shot this big. You just need rain in the background or rain on top. Ma allora, cosa serve per creare l'illusione delle condizioni atmosferiche nei film o a teatro? There are a lot of different ways that rain is done and it depends on whether you're interior or exterior. All'esterno si può ottenere un permesso per usare un idrante antincendio o un camion dell'acqua. You can split that water out to a variety of locations and usually high big towers go up um, that can spray water from unbelievably high. Ma in studio si usa un sistema meno ingombrante collegato a una rete idrica. Right above me is a rain bar. So we have rain that is pouring down in sort of a five inch channel. So if you're looking dead at it, it's a, it looks pretty three dimensional because you have rain, you know, here and here. And plus we can add a level of sort of mist into that that will just give it an even larger depth of fields. And you can have rows and rows and rows of them. The systems in place to keep that rain from never ever dripping unless you wanted it to rain is actually more complex than the moments when it's actually raining. It's mostly fairly low tech. Esistono tanti prodotti per replicare i fiocchi di neve. So you can get pretty large paper flakes that, you, that are squares and they fall in a very beautiful and specific way. You can get shredded paper that falls sort of organically. You can get shredded plastic, which has a different feel to it. And the way that you deliver that is through blowers that are blowing it far overhead and a long distance. Ci sono anche prodotti speciali a base di sapone che non macchiano i vestiti ne rendono il terreno scivoloso. So essentially it's like tiny bits of foam And that is uh, a machine that is pushing that soap through a kind of filter that makes it into snowflakes. Environmentally, there's all sorts of stuff that ends up in the air to fill a picture uh, in terms of haze, fog, smoke. Questi effetti si generano con una macchina del fumo. The most commonly used interior fog is Uh, glycol based, which is an, uh, a type of alcohol. A volte c'è bisogno che la nebbia riempia la scena. Altre volte, invece, di una nebbia bassa che richiede alcuni trucchi speciali. That is most often done now using liquid CO2 or liquid nitrogen to chill the glycol fog to a, a very cold level. And that coldness is what keeps it low to the ground. The thing that's funny about wind to me is that you don't see wind unless it's either moving clothing or hair or if it has some fog or some level of fog in it. JNM ha ventilatori di ogni misura. We have incredibly quiet fans designed specifically for live television. Ma con questi effetti speciali si deve stare attenti a proteggere sia le attrezzature che gli attori. There's a shield, there's plastic bagging, there's sometimes tents. E in studio c'è anche il rischio di allagamento. Often scenery is going to be built and designed with water catch underneath, so it will be raining on what looks like the floor, but it's designed to collect water. E se questi effetti non sono proprio come quelli reali, rendono comunque bene la scena. You don't have to do a huge amount of post work if your special effects are, are right and they look right and they're telling your story. And the realistic stuff is, is you can tell it's real.